So we're here with our friends. We safely made it to the Aetherite in here. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, do you see any others chilling around? Well, well, this place probably is a maze, but... Of course, I'm always feeling heroic. I'm completely fine in 99% of situations as long as nobody roofies me. Still salty about that. Nice hat. Oh, like that's really gonna work. Hi, remember me? I killed your god once before. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I think he needs a thorough ass-kicking right about now. But we didn't do anything to you this time! No, 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 I'm with her, let's kick his ass! Before he actually, like, summons Titan on us. Get, you know, giant cash crystals, like, right next to him, right behind him. Yeah. No, no. Shorty Pants, no, no, this is not a situation you can just talk yourself out of. Uh, no, Gabu's parents are sitting over there dead. Okay? Unforgivable in and of itself. Okay? Really. Like, I understand what he's saying, that he doesn't want to, like, just, just escalate the violence and just leave them more pissed off and add to this, this whole cycle of, well, you know, all this bullshit of, you know, Oh, well, I gotta defend myself against you. Well, now I'm attacking you to defend myself against you and pissing you more off. Thus you summon more. Get like, I, I get that he's trying to... He's trying to do something to mitigate that, but you're already beyond the point of no return here. Like if they're desperate enough to start killing their own people, yeah, they're 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 beyond talk and reason. The the only way out of this is by force. As, as much as, you know, we, we should be kind of reluctant to do so, we're, 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 we're out of options at this point. We really are. Oh my god, this poor little guy! Not ah, shit! Shit, shit, shit! Not liking the looks of this. Uh, guys, I think it's best we get the fuck out of here. Well, actually, you go. I'll stay. I'm immune to primal powers. Uh-oh. Titan is displeased with your bullshit. Uh, guys, guys, can we not stand there? Go. Just, just, just take Kabu and just go. G get out of here, guys. Guys, really. I know Pri uh, Titan doesn't really temper, but 
Yeah, no, get, get the fuck out of here. Okay, that Carby is completely badass. Okay, I take that back. You can start slaying primals with me too. Did I honestly just leave him here? No, that Carby is literally <laughs> eating Titan's face off. I mean, I know this is a very serious scene and all, but, like, you can't just unsee that. <laughs> oh, what's happened to the poor little guy? But where else were we going to leave him? He wanted to save his parents. Yeah, y y your Carby was able to hold it off by chewing its face. Slaying primals is my damn day job. Why do you, I mean, I thank you for being polite about this, but do you people really have to ask me if I'm willing to do this? Okay, if I really wanted to quit this day job, I would have said, fuck you, Science of the Seventh Dawn, and scarpled my ass elsewhere. Okay, so now we actually get to face Titan again. Yes. And this time, unlike the Relic Quest, yeah, we're actually going to record this. So here we are, fighting Titan. Again. Again. And there is a reason why I'm actually showing this on screen. If my cat would stop bothering me, that would be very nice. reason I am showing this titan fight on screen. His dialogue is different. And it's a direct reflection of what Alphano pretty much just told us. Yeah, uh, unwillingly, Gabu has done this. Whoops. So I find it a bit interesting that oh, I should probably get out of that. This, because this brings terrible implications about the mannerisms in which to summon a primal, and it doesn't always have to be necessarily conscious thought, I guess. So yeah, it, it's pretty much just incredibly strong emotion can kind of do it too and he seems to have the expositing Gabu's direct line of thoughts as well which is kind of very scary like terrible implications like oh my god but without actually getting like too like overly into that or really exploring the whole metaphysics behind all that. 
I'm not sure how much is actually fully intended for us to, to, to draw away from this from, like, developer standpoint. Because if you haven't taken note of this right now, this is pretty much a direct callback to one of the early scenes in Final Fantasy IV. Right down to the death of the parent, the emotional distress, and the summoning of Titan in the process. Yeah. Kind of actually terrifying. Absolutely freaking terrifying. Hooray! We did it, guys. Apologies for the edit. The cat thought it would be a fantastic freaking idea to knock my capture card off the, the, the tower and disconnect it. Yeah, that was fun. So those buggers went all the way to the camp without me. Well, technically they teleported there, and I should have too. It would have been kind of, even though it kind of would have been probably too difficult to program, it would be really nice if it automatically kicked me back out. Although, supposedly I had to go back in, so. To even fight him in the first place, but whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's totally fine, guys. Oh, they're sitting by the fire. Was there ever any doubt? Come on, you guys. Have a little faith. Not that kind of faith, no. No, 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 no. Just a little. Oh, come on. How long ago were it was Estina giving you shit about prancing back and forth being worried for me? Oh, well, he's probably traumatized. Well, fuck the Alliance's policy. I mean, not no disrespect for them, but... Part of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn is that we are politically neutral. Fuck their policy right now. Yeah, see? See? The girl primal fired herself and there was no consequence of that. Everyone came out totally fine because we sat and made friends. So, another mission mostly accomplished. So what do we do now? The game is actually may have doing a real damn good job of making me actually feel for this tiny little poor cobble who just lost parrots. Mr. Commander Dude, I slayed another primal. Can I have some lunch now? Of course, my day job.
Well, you did, so how about a reward? No, 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 no drinks, no drinks. People like to roofie that shit on me. Food, actual food, sustenance. Where are you two going? Dude, we time skipped to like the middle of the night. Who goes there? Uh, hi, it's just me. You guys okay? Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. Well, at least you're still within sight of it, so. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. But, alas. <sighs> it's so quiet out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Oh, let's see what let's see what kind of funny shapes we can make with them. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. Well, you're a teenager. C cut yourself a little bit of slack here. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness. I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. But when Grandfather revealed the whole truth of the Calamity to us, I finally understood. And I resolved there and then to continue his legacy in my own way. Yeah, um, we were kind of there. I mean, I know, I know, not everyone did coil, but I, I was there. <laughs> my travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship. Whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled Grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the Warriors of Darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Urianger, of you. Aww. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Well, I don't really do much talking anyway, but since you asked. So we have a couple options here. We, we can talk about the argumentative adult children, who I was shipping way too hard with. We can kind of talk about Sir Emmerich and the hot date I was on that you unceremoniously interrupted, albeit not intentionally. Or, or, we can shit talk about your brother. And if you had any inkling which one I was going to pick and had any doubt in your mind, well, you clearly do not know me at all. 
We had no clear memories of our life in the hinterlands, having returned to the motherland as infants. Nevertheless, I am quite familiar with Master Matoya, as is every Charlene. I should like to speak with her someday. Yeah, every Charlene but your brother, because remember when she was very first mentioned? He, all we got out of him was, why does that name sound familiar? He didn't remember anything. It would not surprise me if Alphano's recent maturation was at least somewhat due to her sage guidance. I would never tell him this, of course. But there have been moments when I've caught myself thinking of him as an elder brother. Th that's not a real good choice of words here, English localization, but... The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. How long have you been there eavesdropping? But yeah, I think her, 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 her choice of words there, while it is kind of poor, I mean, they're twins. I mean, she can't really see him as elder, because they're like probably maybe 20 minutes to an hour apart in age. But I think her point, the point that they meant to convey there is that he's become someone who's worth looking up to. Alright, what are you bastards up to now? To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Every tool has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Has Olympus not told you guys his name? Well, that's easy for him to say. It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Yeah, your mistake was letting your one little spy actually ma not make sure she was dead because she's told us everything and you guys are going to be fuckers number one on my list now. For C, are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Assians alone. With thine own hand strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all too delicate balance of this realm plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Very well. Draw her out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. I don't think I like what's going on here. What good a creed one cannot uphold. 
What hurts soothed? What lives saved? Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, so too shall I. You son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at that. Because, yeah, frankly, I, I'm a, just a tad bit upset right now. Even though the Warrior of Light has no idea what the fuck is going on, but... Where are my other two friends? Hi, guys? Guys? Do you guys come campfire? What are you guys doing? Did I, did I just leave you out here in the middle of the night? You didn't get eaten by a raptor, did you? Did you? No! No, actually, no, they're not here, so... <laughs> Interesting news. Well, hopefully they were able to stop the whole get info on the whole Excel and Nath crap they were searching the crystals for and whatever. Yeah, so now Oracle find those bastards. And maybe I'd like to take a punch or two with them. Oh great, you lost them. You lost them. See, now they're over here. <laughs> and you still won't say anything. Poor little guy. Well, it's not like you went far. But like you said, it turned time to leave. Yeah, you better. Or she she might come back and kick a kick your ass if you don't. This girl means business, yo. Okay, well, surprisingly, he's not gonna fight her on this, which I'm kind of glad for, but. Hugs all around. Damn it, Commander, we're having a moment over here. I love how we're all like, what? <laughs> he spoke. He's still in there somewhere. Let me take care of little guy, okay? For fuck's sake, can you guys please stop calling each other brother and sister? I know that's kind of a common thing in all language, but I, I really hate that they kept it for the English localization because it feels 
so goddamn forced. You have names. Use them. Give yourself crappy names you had in your childhood for all I care. Just stop just calling each other brother and sister. You have fucking first names. Alright, so next time we will return to the Waking Sands, reconverge with our friends, find out maybe if the Temple Knights have maybe had a quick investigation in finding out who supplied these crystals to the Beastmen. Hopefully no one else is summoning their primals. I mean, we've, we've kind of put a slow to the supply to the, to the Nath and the Ixal, but like what about like the Sahagit? Like what about everybody else? I, mean, I know we only got so much resources to go around, but... Well, I suppose it's not important to the story, so they don't waste their time. I don't know. I don't know. Observation more than a complaint. But thank you for watching, friends. And we shall see what we can find next time.